On the 22nd of October 2017, Sister Plaxidis Kamundia, a 49-year-old Catholic nun and teacher, visited the Mother of Peace orphanage in Mutoko. She had taken her vows when she was only 20 years old in 1990 and had served the church ever since. She was there to plan a charity event for the orphans under the community's care. Upon meeting fellow Catholic sister Juliet Haurovi, she was made aware of the glorious cross of life, a shrine that is located on the Mutemo mountain 80 meters from the Mother of Peace orphanage. This fascinated her and she decided to go to the secluded shrine and do a prayer session. This was the last time she was seen alive and she never returned. Her body was found naked floating in the Mutema Dam at the foot of the mountain a few days later. She had been brutally murdered and raped and the main suspect was Inok Potani a 20-year-old man who was found loitering near the cross. Potani had stabbed her blood-stained church regalia, her shoes, and a hairband in a sack that he owned. He also had a suitcase with three panties and a bra that did not belong to Sister Kamundia, which was suspicious. Potani confessed the crime and led the police to the murder weapon, a large stone stained with Sister Plaxidis' blood. He reportedly stoned her to death before raping her and dumping her body in a dam. He claimed that he had heard voices telling him to kill the nun and he was arrested and charged with murder. A psychiatric evaluation revealed that Enoch started showing symptoms of mental disorder in 2013. He would burn houses and property, shout at people and bath continuously. Medical certificates done at the time showed that he had paranoid delusions, auditory and visual hallucinations, hearing and seeing things that are not there. At the time of the alleged offense, he was mentally disordered, which prevented him from appreciating the wrongfulness of his actions. The court ruled that Enoch was mentally unfit to stand trial and ordered him to be rehabilitated. The verdict sparked outrage in the nation, including the former president, President Robert Mugabe, who called for the return of the death penalty. The murder of Sister Plaxidis Kamundia was shocking and tragic, and it exposed the vulnerability of women and the inadequacy of the justice system in Zimbabwe. May her soul continue to rest in peace.